Del Barton looking to complete their dominant postseason run as they take on the Hermits of St. Augustine in the non-public A group finals. The Hermits forfeited the first two bouts, but it was a dominant showing by Del Barton. The Green Wave took off with win after win. Going into 126, Del Barton is up 24 to nothing, and they were not slowing down. Nicholas Nardone for Del Barton, the number two ranked wrestler in New Jersey, working on the weekends like usual. Nardone gets him to his back and gets the first period of fall. Green Wave up by 30. At 138 pounds, returning state finalist Anthony Clark was on a mission for Del Barton. Wrestling all the way through every position, Clark continued to score points and gets a major for Del Barton. St. Augustine finally gets on the board as Alex Marshall tilts his way to a 14-4 major. Last match and what could possibly be the final in Atlantic City. Mike Masita opens up the 195 pound bout with a takedown, but Jaconis kept on pressing. Third period, Jaconis in on a single leg, but Masita with some strong defense, showing his flexibility. Jaconis continuing to improve, isolates the ankle, threatens for the cradle, bypasses the wizard, and gets the second leg to send it into overtime. Sudden victory, Masita goes for the trip, slips and loses his balance. Jaconis runs through with a double leg for the win. Jaconis talks on what it took to win in overtime. Uh, to be honest, it was just like a, lo a lot of heart and a lot of dedication to the wrestling pra uh, practice room. Uh, Guy Russo, Coach Dole, Coach Bridge, um, they pushed me every single time in the practice room, after every single match, run sprints just to get that out of my lungs, and it feels great. Del Barton goes on to win 54 to seven over St. Augustine as they capture the non-public A group championship in dominant fashion. In Tom's River, for Jersey Sports Zone, I'm Kenneth Bradley.